hey there welcome back to coding stuff and this is last part of our quiz app tutorial series and in the last part uh, we did uh, like we cover up a lot of things and we add results to firebase firestore and also we run the quizzes so in this video what we'll do uh, we'll fetch the results and we'll solve some bugs that we have and yeah i will provide source code in the description box so you, if you have some errors you can check it with that and also if this app has some bugs i will surely make a video on it and will resolve that bug so yeah, uh, first of all in the circular progress bar uh, we'll increase the size of uh, the circular progress bar so the shape uh, thickness will provide it 5 dp and let's just close it and then inside the quiz fragment uh, when we load the questions so the timer was not working for the uh, first question so the reason is uh, we are fetching the data inside this uh, view model and we are setting it then we are calling the start uh, timer method outside so it was first uh, loading the data and then uh, it calls the start timer method so because of that uh, timer was zero at the start so we need to cut this and we'll call the start timer method inside the view model dot get question notable live data so as soon as we get the question and we set the data to all the widgets we will call the start timer method and also we need to set question number uh, tv so question number tv i guess yeah dot set text current question number so string dot value of current question number and yeah and also we can we can provide question number here as well so string dot value of current question number we concatenate it uh, with this and space and then again plus so yeah so i guess uh, that's pretty much stuff so yeah in the question repository we will create another method for getting the results so in here public void uh, get results we can pass anything here and we will copy this query form here so control c and i'll paste it over here then we'll write dot kit dot add on complete listener new on complete listener we'll delete this on uh, jet brains annotation provide same column here we'll check if task is successful and also we'll have one else so so we'll create one hash map to set the data private hash map and string like we will receive the data inside this hash map and the type will be long because all the values are integer and then let's name it as a result map and also initialize it so new hash map here yeah. so here result map dot put this will be wrong sorry uh, first will be correct and then task dot get results dot get long and field will be correct so make sure uh, this field name should exactly same as they are in the cloud fiesto i'll duplicate this one and this time this will be wrong this will be wrong and this will be not answered and this will be not answered so yeah then we'll create one interface at the bottom so public interface on result load we'll have two methods so on result load and here we'll receive one hash map so string and this will be long it's named as a result map here as well and then one will be on error we pass in the exception e so private on result 
load on result load so inside the get results are what we are doing we are just uh, running this query like quiz quiz id and then collection results inside that the document like this is how we store the data so also we will have to fetch the data similarly and also we need to pass the quiz id from the result fragment so yeah, we will do that but later then here on result load dot on result load method and inside this we need to pass the result map you can change the name uh, like if this confused you and you should change the name okay and then on result load on error task dot get exception so yeah uh, then in the constructor of the quiz repo question repository we'll pass in the on result load as well so on result load so we can implement the, this two methods inside the question view model so on result load equals to on result load and yeah then in the questions view model as we need to pass another this and then all tenta make question view model implement the on result load since we are already implementing on error so we don't have to impl implement it again and again then at the top uh, we will create one mutable live data so private mutable live data and this will be type of hash map string comma long so this will be result mutable live data and yeah we will initialize it inside the constructor so new mutable live data and then same column then in on result method we'll call our result on mutable live data dot set value and we'll pass in the result map and yeah that's pretty much stuff now we just need to create a getter for our mutable live data so click on generate result mutable live data and okay and also we will have to create one method to invoke the get result method of a repository class so we'll name it a get results as well and repository dot get results and then same color also one thing that we need to do okay i will explain you later so inside the results fragment uh, let's just open the result fragment i have created some member variables like the now controller and the view model and then text views that we have and text view percent tv like all these widgets and then the button as well so as you can see button and also i have created one quiz id as a string variable because we need to pass it to the question repository like uh, get results here as you can see so yeah and then and also i have find it all the ids so to not waste the time and also i have, I have uh, initialized the now controller so what we need to do from the quiz fragment we can copy the on create method it should be at the top so yeah just copy this and i'll paste it over here so we want the question view model class and yeah that will be fine so first of all we'll add on click listener to our home uh, button so set on click listener new on click listener and here we'll use our now control dot navigate r dot id dot action from results to list fragment and yeah then we'll call our view model dot set quiz id so yeah how we can get the quiz id so just open your now graph and result fragment so as you can see i have already added the quiz id here so just click on this and write quiz id here select string and pass null here so this way we will get the quiz id from the quiz fragment to result fragment so just open the quiz fragment then and when we navigate so in here in the submit results method we'll write our quiz fragment directions dot action action quiz fragment to result fragment let's name it as action continue from the next line quiz fragment directions dot this one this time it will be small and then semicolon so action dot set quiz id and we'll pass in the quiz id that we have already in this class 
and instead of passing this we will directly pass in the action and yeah so here quiz id equals to our result fragment args dot from bundle get arguments dot get quiz id and yeah so now we'll pass this uh, quiz id here so quiz id and then we'll invoke the get results method and then view model dot get result mutable live data dot observe get view lifecycle owner and new observer we can receive the hash map from there so we'll get the data and we'll store it here so long correct string long hash map dot get and we'll pass in the correct key and then i'll duplicate this this will be wrong and this will be no answer this will be wrong and this will be no answer sorry uh, this is not answered actually and yeah now we can set this data to our views so correct answer dot set text and we will pass in the correct dot to string duplicate this like three times not the four times this will be wrong answer this will be not answered stab and wrong and no answer yeah then again we will create some variables so this will be long total this will be equals to correct plus wrong plus not answered like no answer sorry and then we'll create long percent variable and this will be equals to correct into 100 and we'll divide it by total and then semicolon then our percent tv so percent tv dot set text string dot value of percent and also our score progress bar dot set progress and here we'll pass in the percent dot int value and yeah that's pretty much stuff so yeah uh, in the question repository sorry in the question view model we need to do one change like see uh, in here we are passing quiz id but uh, inside the quiz id method we are also fetching the great questions so whenever we try to pass the id uh, this get questions method will be invoked from the repository and that can unwanted thing so what we can do we will create another method for get results so public void get results sorry uh, it should be get question get questions and we'll call repository dot get questions method and we'll remove it from here so inside the quiz fragment when we are fetching the data so yeah in here we can write view model dot get questions so yeah we can invoke this method in here and that will be pretty fine so i think like we have done a lot of stuff now so again then design and all that stuff you can work on it like the way you want it so yeah uh, this is the design that i wanted to create but if, in case if you want to like have it differently you can surely do your part so yeah uh, now i'll click on the run button and let's see it's working or not so i have connected my real device to it and yeah let's see so it is installed I'll click on the C programming start quiz so we will wait for the times up and you can see questions are it is one and yeah so times up now I'll select the correct answer now I select the wrong answer and correct 
correct and correct let just select the wrong answer wrong answer and correct this will be users and as you can see 60 percent we got correct answers are six wrong answer three and not answered question is one so yeah this is working and now i'll click on the go to home like uh, you should add some questions to python programming java and all this uh, list that we have so yeah uh, i'll leave it that i'll leave that on you so yeah that's it and you will get the source code in the description box but in case if this app has some bugs i'll surely make a video on it so yeah that's it do subscribe and thank you for watching